Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we will crop this top while keeping this hem. So let's go. The customer asked me to have it that length. She said that this has to be there. So what I'm gonna do, I will just mark my sewing line and I will remove my pin. So now I know that this line, I will put it here. And I will measure this amount all the way. I am using my pen and remember that my pen will erase after I finish the job when, with the hot iron. So this is seven inches and a half and I will just go all the way seven inches and a half. Why I do it that way? To be sure that is the same distance all, all the time. So I will make my sewing line. Remember, it always has to be in a square angle here. It's, that's really, really, really important because otherwise it will look like a point. You don't want that. You want it that looks nice and straight from the front and from the back. This is a um, pattern making 101. Okay, so usually, like if you wanna do exactly the same as it is now, you just you just cut it quarter inch. But um, I like to leave a little bit of a seam allowance just in case, you know, the customer wants to, you know, have cold feet and wants to lengthen, you know, just giving the opportunity. So what I'm gonna do, I will leave three quarter inch. And I'll cut. Remember, I haven't marked anything this side. I will mark it after because it will be easier after it's cut. So I'll cut here. When the customer comes to pick up, I will show you this seam allowance and if she wants, I can cut it after. So now that I cut, I will mark my sewing line at the other side. The sewing line, remember, we said that will be three quarter inch. This is my sewing line. And uh, what I'm going to do now is to open this seam to take this edge and put it in the in the top. So if you let's say if if you don't mind that it's a little bit shorter when you finish, you can just go ahead and cut it here, you know, cut it here. But in my case, because I'm working for a customer, I will open the whole thing. So it will be exactly the same. As you see, to open it is very time consuming. That's why you can just go ahead and cut it because um, what you will lose is about quarter inch or so. So it's not too significant. So now it's done. My next step will be to stitch this one just to be safe. And then I will search and then I will I'll search this one and put everything together. So as I said before, if you don't wanna have this seam allowance inside, you just go ahead and quarter and just cut it 
quarter inch, but you know, in my case, I always like to make the alterations that are, you can revert a little bit of what you have done. I'm removing the loose thread before I sew. And now what I'm gonna do, I will sew and you know, this one is optional. You do it if you want. I pin it so when I stitch it, it won't move. I stitch it so that way it will be easier for me to search. But you don't have to do that. I stretch a little bit. But in that case, not so much, because if I stretch it too much, it will go very, very straight. Now I'm going to search both these and the top. In order to sew it properly, what I'm going to do, I will put side by side, side by side, and then I will mark the center here. And then I will mark the center here. I'll do the same with this one. So, you see it has one seam here. This will be one side. And then that will be the second side and then we will just put together the two sides and we will mark front and back and then we will put it like that and this one here together to sew okay let's go I will pin as I said remember this is my sewing line so I'll pin it that way. And then I'll go and pin the other side in my sewing line. And then I'll pin the centers. This one with this one in my sewing line. And my other center, this one with this one. I will start with the more difficult side. Pull a little bit. If you want, make it easier. You can put a pin in between two. I'll check that it will be okay. Yeah, it's good. And then I keep sewing. Again, pull, find the center, pin it. Again, pull, find the center, pin it. Now we'll iron it a little bit and the job is done. If you want here, what you can do, you, you would just hem a little bit and everything will be okay. Don't iron this side, just this. That way. That looks really amazing, isn't it? So guys, that was all for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.